<laughs> like Big Boo who would turn people into chocolate and just eat them. He's like Santa Claus Boo. Oh, that Boo is so cool. Uh,我们的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的中国的
So just shuffle the gateway in the forest to the left one. Um, but I mean, it's, it's not a huge deal unless you're getting like, you know, Baneling Bustard or something. Then it becomes a marginally bigger deal. But it doesn't look like Jano's gonna do anything like that. Uh, he's just gone for this fast third. As you would expect, it looks like we have a summon X4 placed at the wall here. I believe that's Envision of the Overlord. Pretty close, yeah. Pretty sure the Overlord sees that now. <coughs> and we have just one link for Jadong checking out. Make sure there's no cannons going up around his third, good times. Looks like plus one started already. For, uh, for Grunchy. Let's see if he wants to go for uh, that kind of plus two blink stalker all in that has uh, been known to succeed against Jadon. Well, I think the plus one upgrade might have had to start a little bit earlier for that. I'm not 100% sure exactly when you start that uh, in that build. Anyway, stalker actually coming out here first. And. We are powering up, guys. We're just leveling up the stream here. We're going Super Saiyan level 2, or level 3 or something. How many levels did they actually eventually get to? Because in DBZ, they only, they had they got up to like level 3, right? And then... Or wait, no, or did they get to level 4? I think they got to level 4. And then there was like the, the pink monkey version, which was just bizarre. So, and I think that was like level 5. And then you could go like full monkey or something. Oh no no wait no I think I got it backwards. I think you go full monkey and then you go pink monkey. You know you so first you go like uh, King Kong mode and then you go pink monkey or something. Was there a level after pink monkey? I kind of didn't watch anymore after that. Is there anything after pink monkey? Is there is there actually a proper name for that? Golden monkey. Okay apparently there's golden monkey. All right nice. Anyway, that rogue has been placed kind of sneakily. It might get spotted anyway, though. Ooh, it's gonna be close. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't see it. I don't think he saw that. Yes, he did not see that. Jadon does not see the robo. So still unaware of what's going on here. Oh, we have more gateways being added. Looks like a war prism on the way. So it looks like uh, looks like Gwemchi gonna go for some uh, some fast uh, war prism attack here. Probably gonna make a, a load of a bunch of sentries fly over into the Zerg main and uh, you know force field the ramp and do a bunch of war pins. Something like that. He's going up to, I believe, six warp gates total. Yeah, that's right, six warp gates total. <coughs> looks like a spore crawler in the main because Jadon is not sure what's going on here, but the war prism is on the way. Is it? Is it actually close enough to the watchtower? I think it's actually going in watchtower vision. Why is he? Why is he moving in watchtower vision? That's pretty horrible. He's also built a pylon here on the low ground that is spotted by this overlord, so you can actually not only use the war prism for war pins, but you can also, even if the war prism somehow dies, he can uh, use that pylon on the low ground. Meanwhile, moving up with four zealots, keeping that stalker alive, but Jadon can cancel the spore crawler because he knows what's going on. But there's the warp and the stalkers on the high ground. The roach is actually completely out of position. Jadon sent all his roaches down to kill that pylon and is now out of position. There is the force field on the ramp. There is the phase mode going to warp in a bunch of more stalkers, it looks like, but only got two sentries. They were warped in early, so they're going to have a few force fields here. It doesn't look like he's warping in more sentries to continue to continue the force field, but it looks like, oh man, killing the queen in the main base, doing another round of warpins. I think he needs another sentry, though, to keep that ramp uh, blocked off. Make sure no roach reinforcements can come in here. Please do not die on me, stream. Please, I beg you. Ah, somebody feed the stream senzu beans or something. Gun run, bring some senzu beans. That's what they called, right? The healing bean thingies? They give you, like, full HP? Yeah, full HP beans. All right. Anyway, it looks like uh, he doesn't warp in any more sentries, so he does let the roaches back in. And is it going to be enough for Jadon? I think with the reinforcements, it will be enough to pick this up. Yeah, oh, but another round of stalk uh, sorry, Zealots, rather, is warped in here, but the roaches are closing with the stalkers. And we are lagging like crazy. <laughs> Senzu beans. Oh my god, buffer into no roaches left. The buffer. Oh, wait, no, there they are. All right, never mind. <laughs> uh, but Jadon has built two spine callers in his main base now, but oh man, he's losing the evolution chamber. Is he going to lose the roach warren? Looks like probably not, and I think Wemchi will have to retreat here. Yeah, he's just going to load up uh, the last of those units and pull back. So picked off the evolution chamber, did an okay amount of damage. Uh, let's take a look at the unit tab. It's like 53 drones to 48 probes, 17 roaches though still on the field, and not many units for Gwemchi, but he does have 5 sentries and 1 immortal, so if he gets some good force fields off, he should still be okay against any kind of counterattack. Looks like the queen going to try and run down that war prison, but that's not going to happen now uh, that she is off creep.
We look at the supplies, 117 for Jadong against 81 supply of Guemchi. I mean, I don't know, I feel like that attack could have done a lot more. Like, if, if Guemchi had warped in maybe a couple more sentries there, kept that ramp force fielded, I feel like he definitely could have done more damage, but, um, well, too late for that now, I guess. Looks like uh, gonna continue to use these stalkers to harass. Uh, just pick off some overlords here and there, but that's a lot of roaches moving towards his natural. He does have seven sentries though in the natural. See, I don't understand. If he had that much gas, why didn't he warp in in the first place? Like, why didn't he just warp those in at the main, at, at Jadon's main, and just like force go the ramp? Like he could have just killed the entire main base or something. Huh. And in the meantime, <laughs> oh no, what have you done? <laughs> The Overseer sees it as well. Oh, how embarrassing. Jadon is just giggling in his beard. He's like, LOL, you trapped your immortal. Oh, he has to rescue it with a war prism. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That is amazing. Oh. I think there's still a gap on the other side of the robo, though. So if he just rallies it properly, he can still get out. But looks like Roach is coming in here. Going to pick off a couple of uh, the cannon and the stock, rather, that, uh, that we're warping in. But the rest of the unit is going to come in and help out. Uh, there's a good number of sentries and two immortals there. Going to prevent those Roaches from doing anything too crazy. But Jadal is uh, fast approaching Max here uh, at 13 minutes. Of course, uh, having taken a little bit of that damage earlier, it is a little bit delayed, this Roach Max. But here we go. Standard style on Antigua. Going to start poking... Uh, both the natural and the third here with those roaches. Although he's pulling back a little bit now. It looks like, okay, just regrouping a little bit. But there we go. Jadong essentially maxed right now. 192 supply against the 111 supply of Guemchi. Guemchi going to have to do some really nice force fields to hold this off. Guemchi's actually moving out. I don't think it's a good idea. He's moving into the middle of the map. He really doesn't want to do that. He wants to, you know, be in a position uh, where he's kind of like, uh, you know, he's got lots of more, more terrain to work with here so he can place better force fields. If he just runs into the middle and gets surrounded by roaches, you know, even if he gets a couple of good force fields off, those sentries will have to use up a lot of energy to force field. Uh, properly in the middle of the map in a wide open space, so definitely does not want to be attacking right now, uh, especially, you know, taking his third base, and yeah, it looks like he has pulled back now, uh, going to start walling in that third, uh, as you would expect, and there we go, going to move his units in here, but Jadong, there's the multitask, there's the double pronged attack, is he going to be able to run into the main, there are a few zealots, but he snipes out one of the zealots, and now the roach is moving to the third base here, Gwemchi pulling his entire army back to deal with the roaches in his main base, just going to abandon his third, now sending, splitting up his forces, sending in some units, looks like the roaches in the main going to target down the Twilight Council, while the roaches at the third target down the next, and Jadong gets away scot-free with those roaches at the third. He is going to sacrifice those roaches in the main base. He's going to do as much damage as he possibly can. Kill some probes. He's gotten the Twilight Council down already, so no blink for those stalkers. And meanwhile, Jadong, while all this is going on, is getting out five infestors with the uh, infestor energy upgrade almost complete. Looks like he's timed that perfectly, so the energy upgrade will finish before those infestors pop out. And Jadal doing a great amount of damage here. Looks like the roaches in the main do get taken down. Looks like these units, though, at the third, are they going to get taken down? No, looks like with good force fields, Gwemchi will keep them alive. But I think he picked off, Jadal at least picked off a couple of sentries there. Uh, meanwhile, that war prison seems to have lost all its stalkers. I don't know what happened to the four stalkers that were in that war prison. Uh, maybe he brought them back home, I guess? I'm not really sure. Oh, I think he did bring them back home. That's why we saw four stalkers coming randomly from the main base earlier. Uh, but meanwhile, Jadal also expanding to a fourth, or taking a fourth base here in the middle. And oh my god, why is Gwemchi moving out here? Gwemchi's actually moving out. There's a lot of lings on the map though, and five infest. He's got to be so careful with this move out. He wants to do the counterattack. I don't think this is the best idea, but he is getting good force fields off Jadong, engaging at a bad spot here, engaging on this ramp, losing a good number of units here, dropping down to 150 supply, but you know, he's going to be able to reproduce so much more quickly than the Protoss with those roaches and lings, and with those infestors out to support. He's got two more infestors on the way, getting some fungals off while we power up into Super Saiyan mode. And just trying to hold this middle high ground here. Of course, he does have to hold that. Otherwise, if he, if the Protoss manages to take control of that middle ground, uh, Jadon won't be able to mine from his fourth anymore. So uh, kind of doesn't want that. Looks like he's actually going to add some spine crawlers here on the high ground. But with those, you know, five investors now, seven investors, I believe, and all those roaches and links, I, I don't really think Wemchi can do anything here. He's got to be so careful. If he gets bungled in a bad spot, gets surrounded by those zerglings, he will just lose his entire army for nothing here. And he is retaking his third base now. Actually, just now started. It looks like. Oh wow, that's going to be really, really late compared to Jadon's fourth. Wemchi's not in a good. Position position at all right now. He's got to be so careful with those investors there. And whoa, Jadong streaming in the links of the third base. Nice counterattack here. Gonna force a cancel on that for sure. And looks like might just force Gwemchi into an all-in attack here. Yeah, there's the cancel. Gwemchi gonna go for it. Gonna try and take down Jadong's fourth base here, but uh, the fungal. Oh, nice fungal. Gets all the sentries as well. And the links coming in the back, taking down that uh, pylon on the forward pylon, so there's gonna be no reinforcements to this army. There is a war prism, but it's not in phase mode. And there's a huge surround from Jadong as we go into power point mode. 
Yeah, Bungalu! Into GG. Buffer into GG. It doesn't matter. Everything gets bungled. The links around everything. And that is going to be it for Gwenji. Completely demolished here in the middle of the map. GG from Gwenji. And Jadong goes 6 and 1 in ace matches. Gwenji has been taken down. Jadon, look at that confident face there. Yeah, get some. The final boss wins again. He just turned Gwemchi into chocolate and demolished him. I think I just kicked something. Oh, I, I think I just kicked the cord on my computer. Oh no, it's fine. It's just a webcam. All right, that's fine. Whew. So Gwemchi getting a pat on the back. It's all right, Gwemchi. Five others fell before you against the might of Jadong. And uh, that will be that for this match. Team 8 takes it and goes on a 7 match tear. That's right. Team 8 has, is now on a 7 match winning streak. And, uh, and we are going to have one more match after this, guys, also, so, so don't go away. Or at least go get some food, actually. It's going to be like a 20 minute break. So go get some food, go to the bathroom and whatnot. And then when you come back, there will be Samsung Khan and SKT waiting for you. Bisu and Stork waiting with welcome with arms open. Uh, but I actually really need food. I can't even, I can't even speak anymore. I just like need food. Uh, I, don't even, I don't even have food. Do I have food? What do I have? I have some eggs in the fridge. I have some bread. Maybe some fry some eggs. Oh. Alright, let me put a sign up on the screen.